Three years ago, Immaculate Joshua's left breast turned sore and discharged blood. She suspected it was cancer, but she didn't go to a doctor. She says she instead visited various spiritual healing homes known as prayer camps, and the pain eventually went away. I refused to go to hospital because I believe in God. I called one of my spiritual father. He said I should use salt and warm water. When I use it up to then, nothing happened to me. I didn't seek again. This wasn't the first time Joshua had visited prayer camps. She's been relying on them for years to fix many family problems. And right now, she's hoping they will heal her husband's blindness. I believe that God will do it when his appropriate time comes. You can't force God or you can't rush God. Nigeria has the second highest rate of daily prayer in the world, according to the Pew Research Center, with about 95% of the population praying daily. But health experts here worry that some citizens are trying to pray away illnesses and refusing to seek medical care until it is too late. According to the World Population Review, Nigeria had the 15th highest mortality rate in the world in 2023. And some health officials worry that the reliance on unproven spiritual remedies is making it worse. Spiritual uh, beliefs and practices are already deeply rooted. And often people prioritize them over um, conventional science-based medical treatment. So is is a major, major, major issue in Nigeria. Yes. Christian pastors like Mike Michaels are trying to bridge the gap between prayer and medicine, telling their followers that the two should work together. So there is that balance. The problem is when you see um, medicine in itself as able to heal you outside of God, and I think that's where the issue is. Medicine is provided by God because God is the master scientist. Michael says despite the perception, many churches like his are trying to set the record straight. Uh, we've reached out to several people, we've done medical outreaches, helped people to get them free glasses, um, done rapid tests for um, malaria and some other um, um, sicknesses. According to the World Bank data, in 2021, about 4% of Nigeria's total gross domestic product went to healthcare spending. In contrast, that same year, it was over 10% in the European Union and over 16% in the US. The lack of government investment makes healthcare expensive for many Nigerians, and so, in many cases, prayer may be the only option. Simfi Obiezu, Africa. Abuja, Nigeria.